This project is automatic bus fare collection system using IoT, GPS and RFID technology. Here, hardware connection sir, Arduino and its data board along with power supply, 16 by 2 LCD display. RFID model, EM18 chip, GPS model and IoT model, SP8266 connected to Arduino UART ports. Here, these two servo motors control entry and exit doors. There are four passengers here, each one has a RFID smart card and card has a 500 rupees balance amount. We can see here C1, C2 and C3, C4. Nothing but four passengers. DC motor represented as a bus. It is controlled by alternative 3D HBJ IC which is connected to Arduino digital pins. Now coming to the working. Here, before going to start this project, Initially, we have to create hotspot in our mobile with the username IoT server and password IoT server123. Now we have to open hotspot settings. We can see here hotspot name IoT server and password IoT server123. Okay. Mobile should have internet through the SIM. Now power on this. Wi-Fi connecting. After power on this project, we have to wait for GPS signal. If we are not getting GPS signal, then we have to keep this project at outside for getting the GPS signal. And GPS antenna towards sky. After getting GPS signal, here GPS LED will be blinking. After that, just do reset Arduino. Here we have to Reset this. Here, here we can see we got the GPS signal. Then it is showing connecting. That means Wi Fi connecting. Wi Fi ready. Here it is showing an LCD. Seats availability 4. Here, in this data, we can see here IoT server. Here, server URL is Project Factory Server.in. Now, we have to open Project Factory Server.in. Here, it is showing URL Project Factory Server dot in and it is asking username and password. Here username is IOT65 and password is IOT65. Here we can see here an LCD, it is showing seats availability 4. Now passenger 1 entered, in this data will send to the IoT server. Like passenger in or out, balance amount, seats availability and location. Now we can see the project output. Here we have 4 passengers. We have to save this. Passenger 1 in, balance 500 rupees. Seats availability 3. Here U means data upload into the IoT server. Now we have to start this vehicle.
फिर वी कैन सी डोज क्लोज वेहीकल स्टार्ट Now we have to stop this vehicle. We can see here. We have to press this button. Vehicle stop. Doors open on both sides. Passenger two in. Here it is showing seat availability two. Passenger three in. Now it is showing the seat availability one. Data present to the iOS server. Like that, passenger four in. It is showing seat availability zero. Now start the vehicle. Doors closed. Vehicles start. Now stop this vehicle. Here exit door is open because of that all seats are filled. We can see here entry gate closed, exit door open. If passenger cross the more stops, then more amount will be debited. For each stop has a one rupee will be debited. Passenger one out. It is showing the balance four ninety seven. Seats availability one. You means data present to the server. That means here passenger one crosses the three stops. Here it is showing the balance four ninety seven rupees. Vehicle start. Doors close. Vehicle on. Again, we have to stop this vehicle. Doors open. In this stop, we have to drop the two passengers. Passenger four out. Balance four hundred eight rupees. Seat availability two. Because of that, here passenger four crosses the two stops. That means it is cut the balance two rupees. Passenger three out, balance four hundred eight rupees. Seat availability three. Now start the vehicle. Stop. Doors open. Passenger two out. Now in this data we can see here server. We have to refresh this page. Here it is showing the passenger details, amount, 
number of seats and location with respect to date and time now we have to press this location